Prior to scrubbing in, open your gown and gloves on a flat surface away from the sterile back table. Grab the towel near the open corner and lift straight up and away from the field without dripping contaminated water from the skin to the sterile field. Allow the towel to unfold downward to its full length and width. If the towel contacts an unsterile surface, the towel is considered to be contaminated. The top half of the towel is held securely with one hand and the opposite fingers and hands are blotted dry, ensuring that they are thoroughly dry before moving to the forearm. Areas are not retraced once they are dried. The lower end of the towel is grasped with the dry hand and the same procedure is used for drying the second hand and forearm. Care must be taken to prevent contamination of the towel in hands. Once you're finished, the towel is discarded without dropping the hands below the waist level. Grasp the sterile gown at the neckline and step into an area where the gown may be open without risk of contamination. Hold the gown away from the body and allow it to unfold. Keep your hands on the inside of the gown while it unfolds. Slide both hands into the open armholes, keeping the hands at shoulder level and away from the body. Push the hands and forearms into the sleeves of the gown, advancing the hands only to the proximal edge of the cuff. The circulating nurse will pull the gown over the scrub person's shoulders, touching only the inner shoulder and side seams. They will secure the neckline and tie the waist of the gown, touching only the inner aspect of the gown. The neck and the back of the gown should be completely fastened by the circulating nurse before the scrub person dons gloves to prevent contamination from flapping of the gown. The closed gloving procedure should be used when initially donning a sterile gown and gloves. The glove is placed palm down along the forearm of the matching hand with the thumb and fingers pointing towards the elbow. The glove cuff is held securely by the hand on which it was placed and with the other hand the cuff is stretched over the opening of the sleeve to cover the gown cuff entirely. As the cuff is drawn back onto the wrist, fingers are directed into the glove and the glove slides over the hand. The gloved hand is used to position the remaining glove on the opposite sleeve in the same fashion. Watch as the surgical technologist demonstrates the closed gloving procedure. Remember to place the glove palm side down with the fingers towards you. As you pull the glove around your hand, advance your hand through the sleeve and into the glove. Do the same thing for your second hand. and then adjust your fingers if needed. After their gloves are on, the scrub person hands the cardboard tab that is attached to one of the gown's ties to the circulating nurse. The circulating nurse takes hold of the tab without contaminating the glove of the scrub person and holds it while the scrub person makes a three-quarter turn in a manner that causes the gown to wrap around the body and cover the inner waist ties that the circulating nurse used to secure the gown on the scrub person. The scrub person then pulls the belt so that the tab is freed and remains in the hand of the circulating nurse. The scrub person then ties the two ends of the belt. Once you're scrubbed in, you need to stand in a way that maintains your sterility. 
You can fold your hands, you can cross your arms, but you cannot put your hands under your armpits or stand with them on your waist or put them below your waist level. A gowned and gloved individual may assist another individual in donning a sterile gown. The scrub person, who is already gowned and gloved, hands the newly scrub person a towel to dry his or her hands and forearms unless an alcohol-based surgical hand rub was used. The scrub person picks up the sterile gown. The gown is open with the inner side towards the individual who is to be gowned. A cuff is made of the neck and shoulder area of the gown to protect the gloved hands. The gown is held until the person's hands and forearms are in the sleeves of the gown. A gowned and gloved individual may assist another gowned individual with gloving. To assist, grab the glove under the cuff. Ensure the palm of the glove is turned towards the ungloved individual's hand with the thumb of the glove directly opposed to the thumb of the individual's hand. Using fingers, stretch the cuff to open the glove. The ungloved individual can insert his or her hand into the glove. Repeat the procedure for the other hand.